Hi, I'm Chef Michael from Let Them Eat Cake. I want to tell you a little story about myself that I started when I was 14 years old and I walked into a, a bakery and said, you know, I need to learn how to be a pastry chef. So I started washing dishes and doing pans and that type of stuff. And now I'm 55 years old. I own Let Them Eat Cake here. And I purchased most of my equipment that I have here inside the bakery from Cross Like Bakery Equipment. They have the best and coolest stuff. Not only new equipment, but used equipment. Come on along, I'll show you. I use, I think that this is from 1936 to 1946. This is a mixer that I got it at Cross Like Equipment. And it's so old, it even has a clutch which is so cool. But there's nothing like using a piece of antique equipment. It's just awesome. Also, I use a 1922 scale right here, also from Cross Like Equipment. Look at this, just nothing says old fashioned quality like an old fashioned balancing scale. Oh my. Oh my, it smells so good. Timer still works. I've had this oven from 10 years. I got it from Cross Like Equipment on the refurbished. They, they made, remade it for me. It smells so good in here. So I'm halfway through the baking process, so I'm going to take these cakes and I want to turn them. Just to get even heat. Ooh, look at that. There we go. My spatula is an extension of my finger, okay? So if I get this pinned around and I take this all the way, lift my elbow in the air, get it moving around on my turntable, Never go over halfway, but first kind of, can you see it maybe in the mirror there? And I just go down and now I'm gonna just let my elbow drop, drop. And look, the whole top of the cake gets ice. So now I find the area that's gonna have the most amount of icing on the side. And I just kind of flip flop back and back and forth. I flip my hair back and forth. Ha ha, no, just kidding. So I'm just gonna flip this around like so. Now you want to bring all the icing to the top, so I'm apply a little bit of pressure, and now I have something to take off. See, I'm just kind of just slapping that just a little bit. And as a professional, you really shouldn't have anything on the back side of your spatula. Now, if you can't get it totally flat the first time, then you could, could make some marks on it. Like you could make this look like it's a carrot cake. Maybe make a C in it, and you try another C and another C, but if you really get it going around in a circle, you can just make this happen like that. That would be like a carrot cake if you wanted to do it that way. But if you wanted to try, you could just kind of clean this off by just pushing forward. And I can flatten this right back out very simply. Now, again, if you can't make it flat, you can also take and just make one single chop and do this, come here, come here, come here over here. Okay, you gotta tell the turntable to come here. And then you get, you try to do rub your tummy and do the other thing at the same time. So I'm gonna pop this just like that. And then if I want to, I can just tap the side and this makes it look like a chef's hat. Now, if you can't make it that way, you could always just go right through and just go right across the top of it. I call this the record player. So you don't really have to ice a cake very flat to be able to say, hey, I can ice a cake, but it should be as simple as a piece of cake. I want to thank everyone for coming down and visiting me here at Let Them Eat Cake. I am right down the road from Cross Lake Bakery Equipment, which makes me the best, like being in the best spot ever because I get to go visit them. They're so happy and friendly over there. I enjoy everybody. Thank you and have a delicious day.